What's up guys? We are back today taking a look at something a little bit different, something that I don't think I've ever reviewed anything from this particular property before. We've got some Diamond Select toys, some Walgreens exclusive stuff. So we've got the Nightmare Before Christmas 25th Anniversary Vampire Jack and Winged Demon figure 2-pack. Uh, these were, again, Walgreens exclusives. Found them in the store, couldn't pass them up. They just look too cool and I'm a huge Nightmare fan. So we've got them here in a really big open box packaging. You can see the figures inside. We've got the, the Nightmare logo down there on the bottom. And then the back of this box has a bit of a bio for Jack and the Demon as well as product shots and then cross sell for some other stuff in this line. So let's do it. Let's pull these guys out and take a look. All right, guys, here we go. We've got our Jack in vampire jack form as well as the winged demon figure out of the package and again these were kind of a gamble for me because i don't really have a lot of experience with diamond select in general uh, not to mention their nightmare before christmas stuff i got these because they were on sale they looked interesting and i figured you know let's check them out and honestly i'm pretty disappointed in these uh, i guess based on the price i paid i shouldn't be too surprised but these things are not even close to being action figures they are Posable toys, if that makes sense. So there's no real action here. So we're going to take a look at the winged demon first, and then we'll take a look at Jack. All right, guys, so the winged demon. There isn't really a lot to talk about with this guy. He's clearly not the star of the show. The star is, of course, Jack Skellington. But this guy is pretty much, you know, what you see is what you get. I'm going to take him off real quick just to talk about the stand, uh, just to give you an idea of what they come with, because all of these figures seem to come with stands. You know, these two do, and then some other ones that I have have them as well. And it's incredibly tall. There is a lot of plastic here. You know, he's hoisted up about seven, eight inches into the air, maybe more than that. And this figure in particular comes with this little adapter piece that you put on there so he can sort of sit in it. This is the only way I've been able to reliably get this guy to stay in the air is by putting it, it's, he's kind of like, it's like a cradle almost, like he sits in it. Um, as far as how the figure works, you know, he has a ball, ball peg that goes into the head. You can swivel it and he's got swiveling arms. That's, that's it. He is 100% cast in black plastic and he has some very minimal paint apps on the mouth and the eyes and they're okay. There's just really nothing going on with this figure. He is, uh, you know, it's a what you see is what you get. He's like a pack-in bonus for buying Jack. So I'm okay with that in terms of him being really limited because, you know, at the end of the day, what are you going to do in terms of articulation with something at this price point that's this unwieldy? Because let's be honest, his design is pretty crazy. He's he's 80% wings, but he does look the part. He looks pretty cool. You know, there's some... Uh, sculpted detail on the head and then of course on those wings so he's okay enough um, but of course we have to talk about jack because he's really where the bulk of this package lies so here's jack skellington and he is in the quote-unquote vampire jack form that's basically the whole cape and the cowl thing that he's got going on and just like with the winged demon there's really not a lot going on here and there is more than the, than the demon of course but he's still pretty basic. He has the same kind of stand as the Winged Demon. He just doesn't have the adapter. He instead has a plug that you pop into his back and that keeps him up. The interesting thing about this is that I'm having a really hard time actually like getting his feet to touch the ground. Uh, right now he is hovering just above the stand. And frankly, it really doesn't seem to matter because there is like no heft, no weight to this thing. Um, he is... He's an action figure in the loosest of terms. I do think at the outset he looks pretty good. I mean, this is this is definitely what he looks like, and I'm okay with this look. I kind of like the cape and the cowl. It looks pretty cool, but there's just not a lot going on here. It's, it's obviously a really, really basic figure in a basic line. Um, but let's talk about what he does do in terms of articulation real quick. So I got to preface this by saying that while he can move, you have to have him on the stand. You're not really going to get him to stand up correctly by himself, and then... At the same time, he's not all that expressive, even though he does have multiple points of articulation. So as far as moving him around, you know, there's just not a great deal that you're really going to do with him. But as far as what he can do, you can swivel the head. The All of the joints are hinged ball pegs. So there are hinges and swivels at the shoulder, at the elbow, and then you have swivels at the wrist. They've got them at the thighs. And then we've got him at the knees, and then there are swivels down at the ankles. So he does have a wide range of motion. And, you know, you can get him into a somewhat expressive pose. But he he's really, really thin, and he doesn't have a lot of oomph when it comes to, you know, the figure itself. You can't do much with him. And I'm not sure if that's the intention of this line or not. But 
he's just mostly there for the looks aspect as far as I can tell. You know, I do think he very much looks the part, but this is this is an action figure in the loosest sense. There's not really any action going on here. He just happens to have articulation and he's hanging off of this stand. What I do think is really you know, kind of off-putting about Jack in particular, is from the waist up, I think he looks fine, but from the waist down, I think he looks pretty terrible. The usage of these hinged balls really break up the sculpt, and then at the waist, they just don't look right. They pop out really, really, really easily. So, you know, there's always the chance that you're gonna pop those legs out. Uh, but then again, at the same time, once you pose him, there's not much of a need to ever touch him again. So I would have rather just had them be straight legs with no articulation and give me articulation from the waist up instead. That's my personal preference, but, you know, that's just seemed kind of, kind of where I am with this figure in terms of how he moves around. I'd rather him be able to move less and look better than move more and look all broken up and janky. So there you go, guys. A quick look at this Nightmare Before Christmas 2-pack from Diamond Select. Uh, obviously, I think it's pretty clear that uh, I'm not a huge fan of these. I think for the most part, they're okay at best, but they are definitely budget figures. I don't see, I don't think or I hope these are not what the figures you buy elsewhere are like as well. Again, I don't have a lot of experience with them, uh, but the Demon is okay for what it is. It's kind of a bonus pack-in. Jack certainly looks really good, and you know, I've got him on the stand. I'll put him on the mantle for Halloween or something and have him as a decoration, but I don't think he really works as a as an action figure. I think Jack Skellington's design in general doesn't really work well for articulation just because he's so thin. He's 100% reliant on a stand, and ultimately, he's all waist up. There's really not a lot going on down below, so like I said previously, I'd have rather him just had two sticks for legs that don't move and look better rather than have all these janky ball joints all over the place. So that's going to do it for this look at the Nightmare Before Christmas Walgreens exclusive two-pack from Diamond Select. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like comment, subscribe, and share, and until next time.